it, it's really uncalled for. It happens it's quite a fun. bit. We get a lot out here, but we get Just friendly screams out here. Off-putting, that's for sure. People scream fun stuff. There's a guy who yelled at us. We were walking. I was showing her Times Square because she's never been in New York before. And some dude was like, I'll rub your feet from your toes to your ass. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Rudest thing people have done. People don't have boundaries when you have tattoos. It gets kind of weird sometimes. I was told that I was worthless one time. You're worthless? <laughs> because you're she tattoos? Oh. I mean, I, I always tell people that like when you're heavily tattooed, you, you know, you get sometimes negative responses. And when people come in and they want to get their necks tattooed or they want to get their hands tattooed, I, I try to like warn them ahead of time like, hey, people are going to treat you differently. I knew what I was signing for when I decided everything I've done on me. So it doesn't matter, I know I scare children. I know, <laughs> I know those people are never gonna get it. I'm fairly intimidating when I'm out in public, so people really don't say shit to me. Dave Mustaine ushered me away from his kid because I was tattooed. He hates tattoos, so I don't know why that pops out in my head, but that was pretty rude. Tell them what you do to kids on the train. It was like a woman and like two kids and she I was like walking down the street and she was coming in the opposite direction and she like looked up and she was just like, oh, come on. I was on the train the other day and I had a lady go, oh, I ideas me. <laughs> I was told that I literally have less value yeah. than someone else because I have tattoos and I'm a woman, yeah. 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 Taste it, Maria. I was at the casino recently and as I'm playing, just having a good time, the dealer says to me, she's like, what does your mother think of you? Which is like, whoa, like, you know, I'm kind of like, it's kind of like a, a super rude comment kind of catching me off guard. And I'm like, yo, I did a sleeve in my mama. You know what I mean? What are you talking about? You know? I've had so many. I think I went to a doctor's office once and this lady walks in and she's like, uh, I can't be here. We don't affiliate with criminals. I'm like, what? I was like, okay. I went to another doctor's office and she was like, are you a convicted felon? And I was like, what does that have to do with anything? She was like, oh, because you have tattoos everywhere. I'm like, so I can't just love art? She was like, okay, I'm sorry. I was like, well, I got locked up a long time ago, but yeah, go ahead. When I was living out in Europe, I was on a tramway in Geneva and people there love to stare. I like that. Like really stare. And you don't know if they like the work like or it. if they hate the work. Thumbs down. We went to see his sister on the bike and we were going back and we were stuck in the queue in traffic on the tunnel and there was this woman in the car that was like um, kind of like a little bit behind but on the side and she kept like um, coming close to us just on purpose to look at me and say disgusting. Disgusting! I've had one guy, he came up to me and he was like, why do you have tattoos? You're a woman, women are supposed to be beautiful. And he was like screaming in my face and it actually made me cry. Cause it was so intense. The guy was like yelling so hard. Damn. Yeah, I was like. I remember checking out at a counter at a Wawa because I'm from Pennsylvania, we have Wawas. A woman actually came up to me as I'm like, checking out and she's like, hey, you know, one day when you have kids, you're gonna have to go to a parent-teacher conference and you're gonna really wish you didn't have those tattoos. I'm like, woman, I don't even know you. In upstate New York, I was doing convention and I stopped to get some paper towels. And these two old white men, two separate people in the same grocery store gave me shit. You know, I haven't had anybody say anything in a long time, maybe because I'm too far gone or whatever. Anyways, the one guy was like, oh, I guess, Halloween came early, and that wasn't so bad. But then this other guy behind me was talking to some woman, and he's like, I just don't get the tattoos, like within earshot of me. And I turned around and said, they're not for you to get. And Jesus wouldn't like the way you're talking about me. I was really young, I was in the Marine Corps. I had, didn't have as, nearly as many. I had like one tattoo on my shoulder, another one on the other shoulder. I had a tank top on, and uh, I came home on leave. I was in my mother's house. My mom is very involved in the church. She's had a guest come by and have breakfast, and it was a priest um, from another parish or whatever. So I came out of my room, my mom introduces me to him, and shake, you know, shook his hand, and he's like, he looks at me like, he shakes my hand and kind of like almost pulls away. And I sat down, and she's making us, you know, she's serving us breakfast, and 
oh, how you been? How was your sleep? You know, I just came in from the flight and the guy's looking at me and he just kind of, you know he wants to say something. <laughs> and he looks at me and he's like, oh, so how many tattoos do you have? And I'm like, oh, I have this, this, and the first one I had, whatever. My mom's just not, and then he just like straight up goes, did you know that if you have tattoos, that's a sign of the devil and you're gonna burn hell for the rest of your life? Wow. And this is a priest, straight up freaking white collar, and he was, I was like, you're, you're, you're damned, damned. it's eternal you're damnation or something. In front of my mom. And he goes, and that, you know, there's a sign of the devil. And I'm just looking at him and I'm just like, well. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> I'm Satan. And that's how I handle all of the oppressors. People who want to talk <laughs> Jesus wouldn't like that, dude. You need to stop. Did he come back with anything? No, he had nothing to say. They never have anything to say when you say that. Because they don't expect it. Get them to shut the up. Yeah, I love getting people to shut the f up. <laughs> Listen, I um the tattoo is just the stamp. Yeah, I know I'm going to hell already, <laughs> so I just applied for a job down there to drive the bus. It's got air conditioner. <laughs> It's air great. Conditioner. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the pretty, one perk. That's a union job. Yeah, but everybody that's going on the bus is homeless and they smell like <laughs> so that's like the part of hell oh. that you're just like, all right, whatever, at least it's AC. <laughs> Yeah, so some people will comment about me not having tattoos and they'll say, I first saw your work and I loved it and I wanted to get a tattoo and then I told my friends that you don't have any tattoos. And they said, why are you gonna go to her? Like, why would you trust her? And a lot of people don't realize that it's about the art. And I was an artist before a tattoo artist and what I do to my body has no effect on what I do to your body. So this was a client recently, his friends started judging and saying, you know, you shouldn't go to her, yada, yada. And then he just pulled up my portfolio and showed them and said, well, look at her work. And immediately they were like, I take that back because that work is much better than the work they even had on them. And they were like, clearly you should go to this person if, you know, this is what you're looking for. But yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about what you're gonna say before just coming out and saying it because your initial reaction isn't always right. right. You shouldn't judge people just based on how they look or how, you know, what they don't have. Um, because the work should speak for itself or the person should speak for themselves, whether they have tattoos or not. They're usually pretty nice. I had a guy, the other guy, uh, when I was at the golf course the other night, he's like, he's like, why do you have one pant leg on? And then he's sitting there, he's like looking close. Oh, no, that's a tattoo. Well, that's, that's nicely done. Just because I have a lot of tattoos, people will see me out in public and they automatically think like, I'm gonna see if he tattoos. So they come up to me and I've, I've had people, it could be something as simple as buying socks in Walmart. And I have people start literally, hey, do you tattoo? And it's like, I wanna be proud. Like, yeah, yeah, I tattoo. But on some days when you're just working 24 seven, trying to make a sale, you just wanna buy socks and you don't wanna work. And the guy starts taking the shirt off. What can you do to cover oh, this? Oh yeah, all starts the clothes lifting. come off like immediately. And, and you're like, dude, we're in public. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Free Calm consultation. down. Exactly. <laughs> So, you know, I get it. It's nice when like, you know, eventually maybe it leads to you're doing a tattoo on them. But in the moment when like, you know, you got a million things going on and you're kind of caught off guard, like we have to try for us to not be rude. Like, because, you know, you got to realize they, they just don't know. It's not them being rude, it's just ignorance, so. I feel like the, if the only thing that maybe I've experience is you know just pre-judgment you know um because i'm really tattooed but it's never been bad people are just assuming i'm in a band or something of the sort you know <laughs> i really hate that i keep on getting compared to six nine now and i'm 33 years old he's like 26 and i have no six nines on my face getting heavily tattooed might not be the choice for you obviously i'm not complaining about it because i chose to do this this wasn't like something that somebody forced me but i think you have to expect like People, there's a stigma about it, and a lot of older people aren't a huge fan of it. Some are, a lot of people aren't though. And you just gotta take it for what it is and just not react and show them the opposite side of it, that heavily tattooed people doesn't mean you're a bad person, it doesn't mean you do bad things, you know? It's just what you like. I think with time, things are only gonna get better and more and more people are gonna accept it, but there's always gonna be a small percentage of people who don't like it, and you just have to accept that. I mean, we're getting hit on out here, that's nice. Yeah. That doesn't really happen in LA. I have value here. Just kidding. I don't. You're just kidding? <laughs> She's just kidding. I'm just kidding. No I'm worthless. Worthless. <laughs> I'm worthless. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing on the golf course? Golfing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like a... It's an addiction, buddy. I like sports. I don't like sports. I like golfing. <laughs> it's not really a sport. It's just like... It's kind of like a outdoor drinking activity. You know? I think I've golfed sober three times. <laughs>
<laughs> sucks. Give us your golf stance, like right here. Yeah, oh god, no, it's terrible. Just do it. Do it, do you it. Have to. Use the broom. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no that's so embarrassing. Just like go for it. Uh, we want you to. No, it's, it's not a great stick. Real golfers are gonna go. This guy doesn't know it's what he's green, doing. It's green, but like green screen, I'm shedding it there. 